Greetings. Uh, let us talk about endoscope drawing and uh, storage. These are my acknowledgments. And today's learning objectives include the following. We will learn the purpose of endoscope drawing and storage. And we will also learn about how to do it properly. It is important to start by wearing the full personal protective equipment or PPE before you do the drawing of the endoscope. Drawing is a very important part of the scope reprocessing and a dry scope, especially that is bone dry, will prevent organisms from multiplying. If you have any moisture anywhere on the scope or inside the channels of the scope, bacteria will multiply and will be a source for infection. Uh, hence, it is crucial to have the scope dried up almost to the point of bone dry before you hang it up in the storage cabinet. So let us go about how do we do that. So the after the endoscope comes out from the high level disinfection unit, uh, it is uh, dried up and placed in a cabinet. And you go to the cabinet and remove the endoscope from the storage cabinet. And then you place it on a clean sheet before you start the process of drying. There are three options for most endoscopy units. Uh, we go with the manual drying of the channels by blowing uh, filtered air through the different channels for a minimum of 10 minutes. And the amount of pressure that should be used, one should follow the manufacturer's instructions for use. It is important to use 10 minutes of drying because studies have shown persistence of fluid in the channels with a drying cycle of less than 10 minutes. In addition to manual drying, which is labor intensive, there are other processes like automatic drying with the help of a machine that also gives a 10 minute cycle of drying. And if you decide to do automatic drying with this machine, this is how you go about doing it. You attach the air water and suction channels to a tubing and also to the suction outlet and then plug the biopsy port and attach those tubings to the pump and you turn on the pump and it goes for 10 minutes and it dries up all the channels. Irrespective of whether we use the manual drying or automatic drying, after finishing 10 minutes of drying, we take a lint-free cloth to dry the exterior of the scope thoroughly. Then uh, you hang on the label and uh, other uh, attachments to the scope, but make sure that you do not attach any of the valves to the scope when you take it to the storage chamber and hang the scope vertically down. That vertical down uh, hanging of the scope will get rid of any moisture that has not yet been cleared. And it's very important to do this, that is hanging the scope vertically, straight down. 
We talked about manual drawing, we talked about automatic drawing, and then bringing the scope to the storage area, and then hanging it vertically down. There are some storage cabinets where continuous air flushing can be done. That also uh, does the same purpose. And here is one. Here is a storage cabinet where you hang your scope, and then you attach the tubing, and air continuously blows through those uh, tubings, similar to what we have seen in the automatic drying machine. And by continuous airflow, this will ensure a completely dry scope. It's important to keep in mind that when you take out a scope, you make sure that you check when was the last time the endoscope has been uh, placed in the storage chamber. And that's why it's important to see the date when it was cleaned and the expiration date. Each date is set by the individual endoscopy unit administration. And uh, if it goes beyond that date, you should not take that endoscope for patient use. Instead, you should go through another cycle of manual disinfection followed by high-level disinfection followed by drying of the scope and then back to the storage. So it's important to keep this thing in mind. In summary, we talked about how to dry the scope and it's important to keep in mind that we should dry the inside uh, channels for at least 10 minutes and use a lint-free cloth to dry the exterior and then hang the scope vertically down without any coiling for any residual fluid, if there is any, that will also dry up. Thank you.